go, go. This week on Behind the Scenes, okay. we unleash the awesomeness of slow mo. Meet thousands of chips and Boris. Small jump. <laughs> <laughs> Sound on one one. Okay, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera, but um, yeah, what is happening? Um, uh, um, 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 oh, right. Oops. Anyway, we've just got permits to uh, go and film on Malchas Island. This island's on the west coast of South Africa, um, an island in the middle of the sea, and there's just uh, millions, 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 millions of birds on it. It's just an amazing place to film. It's a visual extravaganza, just birds taking off, landing, chicks, um, you know, they're nesting, chicks, chicks, <laughs> chicks, you know, not that sort of, no, cut, 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 let me stop that. The other reason why um, I'm excited about, about uh, going there is uh, that we're taking um, this little baby with us. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's the Phantom Gold camera. Um, very expensive little uh, piece of equipment. Um, I'm told about $250,000. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite privileged to have it in my hands. It's a slow motion camera. It's made uh, average things look incredible. What's amazing about this camera is that um, you, know, you can film in slow motion um, from uh, one frame to 1,050 frames a second. So you know, you're catching stuff that you never normally see um, with a naked eye. Let me try and explain frames per second. In just one second of video, there are normally around 25 still pictures but the Phantom can fit in over a thousand still pictures into one second. It's also got, uh, got this pre-roll function. Basically the camera is rolling all the time. When you actually see the action, then you press, then you press, uh, then you press stop. Did someone say roll? Pre-roll. Imagine a roll of film being pulled across a window. Where you cut is your end. What's in the window is usable and everything before is gone. When you view it at a thousand frames a second, it's just, it's just incredible. We're also going to go with the, uh, with the F900, F900 camera. This is Sony F900, which I normally, normally film with. We'll be able to see, um, uh, the comparison um, between the two different cameras. Okay, we're just going to do these simple tests. Um, here we have the Phantom Gold and just behind the F900. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to see the comparison of, of how they film. Okay, we're just going to do the test with the F900 and see uh, what we see at 25 frames a second. Okay, let me just focus. Okay, Daniel, you know where to put it. Okay, and I'm rolling and go. Okay, we didn't see much. Right, I've pushed record already and I'm just going to wait for the moment and when the moment happens I'm going to press stop. Okay, uh, Daniel and, and go. Whoop. Okay, stop. Okay, let's see if we've captured that. One week later, and we're here, but there's no welcoming party. This place is abandoned. There's no electricity, no water, no body. So we've had to bring everything with us. Day two. It's 5 a.m., cold, dark, 
and we've got to start getting the camera ready. <laughs> this place is an absolute nightmare when cleaning the camera. There's just dust particles everywhere and feathers. I'm trying to get the sensor clean, but all I can see in front of me is dust. But uh, we'll see what, what comes out. <laughs> I'm surrounded by chicks and shit. <laughs> it's so noisy, I can't even think. The wind is shaking the lens everywhere. Day three. I'd rather cook 10 times more than washing dishes. Day seven. We've been here a week and I smell 